Isso aqui é o Salão do Automóveis para Nerd. What I love the most about comics for me is that it's so collaborative. Getting to I used to write, you know, books and it was just you writing alone and writing video games or movies. I'm excited about that stuff, but it's also you serve a lot of masters, you know. Writing a comic, it's you and your artist and the two of you making something living and different. It's yours. Just two of you as a team with the colorist and the letterer and that stuff, but it's like a bunch of people getting together to make something that's alive together that's just yours. I mean, I love that aspect of it. I think that's something real special about comics. Like when I was a kid, they didn't have digital comics. They didn't have cons like this. The con in New York was like a bunch of old guys with long boxes and that was it, you know? Now you can go to a place like this, like San Paolo, and go find an artist who's looking for work if you're a writer and you can put together a comic and what comic book editors and guys like me want to see they want to see your comic that you made they want you to hand them that as your resume and say look I finished something I did this and if you can do that and put a comic out digitally put a comic out in print and give it to them and say this is what I was able to do that's really what they're looking for and you have more means to do that now than ever before like it's such a great time that you can make your own comics and have your own thing without needing publishers so you know go do it any advice for young artists or cartoonists I really don't because I stumbled into it like by accident I was a civil engineer I was running a construction company and how I stumbled into it literally by accident uh, is too long a story to tell now but when I look around at all the young artists and all of the different ideas they have and all the things they, I'm, I feel really ashamed that I could become so popular with so little ability when I see how excellent all these people are and all the different genres of work. And uh, to really be able to create comics, you have to, it's like being a, a novelist. You really have to know everything. That's, that's a difficult thing to, to achieve, to know everything, but the more you know, the better you can uh, create a story. I could create pretty good uh, comic stories because I knew a lot about old movies and other old comics and history and things that somebody who does Uncle Scrooge comics might need to know. Dá para ver no, no Facebook ou com a internet, dá para ver que o nível em geral tá tá subindo. Eu acho eu acho que é as crianças têm tão coisas para ver, é mais fácil para ele, eles de ver muitas, muitas coisas, muitos artistas, muitas influências, que hoje o universo está subido, eu acho. Então para eles tem mais oportunidades, bem mais, e mais fácil. Né? É a San Diego da América Latina, ponto. Já virou evento obrigatório, já entrou na agenda de, dos estúdios, já fácil. É o Sean aqui. Hoje a facilidade para pelo menos você mostrar o teu trabalho é muito grande. Para você aparecer, no, pelo menos para as pessoas com a internet, com os ground found da vida, você consegue é, mostrar o teu trabalho. Se você quer entrar no mercado, você tem que encarar ele como uma profissão, como um trabalho e vai ter que seguir regras, horários, ter que se comprometer e se comprometer muito.